Could you tell us a little bit about the history and development of 18065, this new course? Yes, okay. Uh, so this, this is my adventure uh, into uh, the subject of deep learning. Mm. Uh, so that's a special part of machine learning, a highly important part. It's in the newspaper all the time. Uh, and uh, students are graduating knowing about uh, deep learning and getting good jobs, and it's really amazing. Um, so, and then the other beautiful part is that it depends so heavily on linear algebra. You've been known to say, um, I certainly learned that projects are far better than exams. Students ask their own questions and write their own programs. From now on, projects. That's right, <laughs> yeah. It's sort of late to learn this. Uh, because with the, the 1806 linear algebra, a totally conventional course with maybe three exams during the semester and a final exam, mm -hmm. um, and maybe that's appropriate, but it's changing. And then with this new course where the computer's involved and you, for example, so I ask everybody to do a project. There is no final exam. Actually, there's no exam at all. I mm -hmm. shouldn't like to say this. but. Uh, <laughs> It, it's, uh, it's really what the subject is, is having an idea of how, okay, I'll use deep learning for some things. What did that feel like to try something new pedagogically? Oh, it's fun. You know, I, I like teaching and this is a subject where students just come from everywhere because mm -hmm. they know what stuff to learn and they've heard about it and they, some of them know more than me. But, and then they, those students write even better projects. Yeah, it's mm. just uh, um, so. So the so I do the lectures for the first uh, t three quarters of the course, and then I try to get them to present, oh, which see. is a great experience for them. So it's, uh, it takes a little urging to get them, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's really just. Wonderful. What insights have you gained about um, having more of a student-led course and a project-based course? Any, anything that other... You, you realize slowly but finally that that's how people learn, by, mm. by doing there, that you couldn't give them a better way to learn than, than create a project, and usually it's on some topic they know about or they, they're interested in. Uh, like how do you find a criminal in a in a bunch of people? Uh, what, but it's yeah, it's just uh, uh, it, it's it's a very effective way to learn and something it's something that gets remembered. Where taking uh, doing exam questions that I might make up sort of mathy questions, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that's remembered ten years later. Mm -hmm. But I think people's projects are. Is there anything you learned from teaching it this way, um, like something that maybe went wrong in the logistics of facilitating these projects that next time you want to do differently? Well, sure. Um, that, uh, I didn't have any idea what to expect, uh -huh. uh, really. Uh, and the, maybe the students didn't either. They said, what's a project? <laughs> well, one student had said unwisely, when are the projects due? Uh, I thought, what's that? I mean, I hadn't even thought about projects, so I thought, okay, uh, you asked for it. <laughs> so, uh, so we decided that the the last, the end of the semester, the final day is the class, which is two weeks away. Uh, projects are due to come in, and then some other class is able has a chance to like present. I, I actually kept their project in the in the last weeks, but not everybody, because it's a big class. So it starts with each student or each group. It could be two or three students together. Uh, sends me a, an email about their plan, mm -hmm. and I respond. I usually respond wonderful, and maybe I have an idea of a reference or two that they could look at. Uh, but uh, and then they then they just do it. Yeah, it's really nice, very nice. Um, do you give them any feedback along the way? 
If they ask for it, yeah. And if I, you know, usually they'll know more about their subject than me. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but maybe what they learn also is presenting. That's an important thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's really, it's just, uh, it, it's more, it's richer uh, than taking an exam. Mm -hmm. Well, the viewer may think, okay, <laughs> Professor Strang says no more exams. I don't know if, I, so don't quote me on that, please. <laughs> okay. Um, in 18065, in one of the videos, um, you talk about grading students' work. Yeah. And, and you tell them that although this is important to grade their work, it's not your main concern that your main concern is actually learning with them. Right. This is what I want to say the most. And I say it to every class I teach at the, near the start of the semester. Uh, my, my feeling about what my job is is to teach you things or to join, you, join with you in learning things as, as happened today. It's not to grade you. So typically the first few days of class, these guys ask, you know, what's the class average going to be? Mm -hmm. How are we going to be graded? I don't have any answers for that stuff. So I say what is totally true that I'm not, I don't feel my main job is to grade them. Uh, that's, uh, my, my job is to teach them or learn with them. And, uh, that's what I continue to do, and gradually they begin to believe. You know, at, at the beginning, it's uh, they still think, okay, but he's got to give me a B or a C or an A. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, really, that's not what 18065 is about, uh, a grade. It's just not. Mm -hmm. What? advice do you have for new professors starting out in teaching? <laughs> oh, well, probably this interview has expressed most of the thoughts I have about mm -hmm. in the class. Uh, yeah, yeah. Use big chalk, <laughs> <laughs> if it's a, especially if it's a large class. Uh, it helps your writing get it, your writing looks impressively level, even because of the ch chalk. And, uh, and don't rush and don't think you have to cover everything. Just, just, just to stay with the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, well, so again, it's, uh, it's the best job possible.